The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it. And let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days. For a terrible calamity will come upon the earth and a wrathful judgment upon these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue listening to the story of the prophet Daniel and his encounters with the kings. Take note, my dear brothers and sisters, that in our first reading today, Daniel deals with a third king. Last Tuesday, we heard about Daniel's dealings with King Nebuchadnezzar. Yesterday was about Daniel and King Belshazzar, the son of King Nebuchadnezzar. And today, it is another king, King Darius. The kings come and go, but Daniel remains. The kingdoms of these worldly kings pass away, but Daniel, who remains faithful to God, remains. And this is proven even more by our first reading today. How God saved Daniel from death. King Darius ordered the prohibition of doing Jewish laws and traditions. But Daniel continued to fulfill what is asked of him as a faithful Jew. He continues to pray three times a day despite the law of the king of King Darius. And because of this, he was reported to the king 
And the king, knowing the stature of Daniel, could not do otherwise but to implement the law that is to put him to death. And so Daniel was sent to the lion's den where he was supposed to be devoured by the fierce lions. Pinadala siya sa kulungan ng mga leyon upang kainin ng mga leyon ng buhay. And King Darius was even disturbed because of what he did. He could not eat, he could not sleep. But what happened to Daniel? God closed the mouths of the lions. Isinara ng Diyos ang bibig ng mga leyon, kaya hindi napahamak si Daniel. At hindi lang yon, nakatulog pa si Daniel sa piling ng mababangis na leyon. He was able to sleep soundly inside the lion's den. Imagine, my dear brothers and sisters, how peaceful Daniel was because of his faith in God. Hindi siya natakot dahil alam niyang hindi siya pababayaan ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, we also face many fierce lions in our lives. Tayo rin, araw-araw, humaharap sa mararaming, maraming mababangis ng mga leyon na gusto tayong lapain, kainin ng buhay. Napakaraming panganib, napakaraming pangamba, napakaraming tao na gusto ang ating kasiraan, mga leyon na gusto tayong kainin ng buhay. But like Daniel, let us remain faithful to God. Let us continue doing God's will. Let us not be afraid to live out our faith even if there are threats. Because the promise of the Lord is those who remain faithful to Him will never be harmed. If we remain faithful to God, God will take care of us. God will save us. Just remain faithful to God. And God will not only close the lion's mouths, God will even make you sleep in the midst of them. Ano ba yung mga leyon na bababangis sa iyong buhay ngayon? Manatili kang tapat sa Panginoon at hindi ka maano, hindi ka masasaktan. Kahit sa piling ng mababangis na leyon, mapapanatag ka dahil kapiling mo ang Diyos. And this is also the same assurance that Jesus gives us in our gospel today. There will be many frightening things that will happen in the world and around us. But Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. When these things begin to happen, when signs in the sky begin to manifest, when frightening things happen all over the world, then have faith, stand erect, persevere, raise your heads, because Jesus said, your redemption, your salvation is at hand.